Bonsoir les amis, this is uh, Lien Stanfield and I'm sorry just one quick second I don't have a good connection so I just want to make sure that I have a good connection um, there we go this is Lien Stanfield and you can find me at parisianfrench.parisianfrench.com and today I wanted to ask you if you have been trying every program out there um, and their mother <laughs> and nothing worked so I know that this happens for a lot of people and I wanted to watch this little video because I have three things to tell you tonight I typically don't come uh, live on Saturday and uh, it's because we had this Black Friday special which you have a link to above in the video um, in the description on Facebook live is above in YouTube is going to be under the video and uh, maybe you want to take advantage of it so I want to read uh, to you what uh, Jonathan uh, wrote to me today so uh, I want to know and please write in the comments below if you recognize yourself in it if you uh, relate so Jonathan wrote, uh, wrote to me today I wanted to learn French since I was a child. I've always loved the sound of the language. I took three years of French in high school. I'm 48 now, so that was a long time ago. And I went through the Prinsler series and the Collins French, Paul Noble series a few, a few years ago, but things just didn't stick because I didn't use the knowledge. I've been working with Duolingo for over two years and I currently have a 367 day streak, so I am dedicated. My reading and writing is good and my pronunciation is very good. I'm a classical singer and have performed many French chansons over the years. I live in the metropolitan Washington DC area and there are many, many French conversation groups uh, here that I could join, but my ability to put together a sentence is almost zero. I am absolutely terrified to open my mouth other than to say the simplest of phrases. I just have trouble putting the sentence together. My goal is to simply be able to converse. So I was wondering if you relate to what Jonathan uh, wrote in the email to me today and we're going to have um, one of the introduction, introductory sessions this coming week and so if you do relate then I just want you to know that you're not alone, um, meaning so many people feel and experience exactly what you do and the reason I gave Jonathan's um, example is because he just put in words so brilliantly um, exactly how the process feels like and what probably most of you experience right now. So if you do then you know that trying um, all the pro programs out there um, it's a blessing and it's a curse in the same time. So it's a blessing because it gets you going, it gets you started, so you get comfortable with the language more or less. But And also you can maintain, you can maintain the knowledge with them. But look at this experience and look at this um, background that he has and he is still terrified to make one simple sentence. And if you happen to have this experience, to, to have these feelings, know that you can voice them, you can tell me, you can pee, uh, you know, message me, um, or you can come in uh, my Facebook group and I'm going to put the link to the Facebook group under the video in a comment uh, so that you know uh, where to come. Also in that Facebook group, and it's all free and everything, I post a lot of French because you probably are wondering, okay, well, this is a French video, but where is the French? Um, on Saturdays, like I said, I'm not uh, typically broadcasting um, any free lessons, but I do want to tell you because of all these specials that ha are flying about uh, with these holidays, 
um, you know, this is a point, uh, what I was talking about yesterday, when is the point that you should invest? Well, this is, if you feel like something similar that Jonathan is talking about, then that's definitely a point where, well, he's decided and committed that you should invest in, uh, in your French. Also, Oscar contacted me today and uh, that's a very interesting point that he made and I think a lot of you also fall in the same category not that I categorize people but a lot of people have the same motivation so um, he uh, grew up in London he now is in Canada Toronto Canada and uh, he travels to Paris um, very often and Montreal and um, I asked him why is then now today when we talk today over the phone so I asked him why is it today that is so important for him to start French to start learning French he had started again the same kind of experience he had started here and there actually he didn't do any of the programs he, he did have he's like a complimentary situation of Jonathan's he did have uh, um, a lot of friends with whom he uh, he made conversation with, uh, whom he made conversation with, and even then, even though he's he's actually on the flip side of of Jonathan's right, so he's making um, Oscar's making conversation. He has a lot of friends to speak with. He has a lot of occasions to go to Paris. That's not the situation that Jonathan is in, and yet. Uh, Oscar is um, aware that he's not making the best of sentences and there's no way that even with a lot of conversation you know situations and opportunities that he has um, making com it's making the right conversation and and making the sentences correctly and whatnot it's so very important it's like the 50 the rest of 50 percent of all the uh, of the picture so I wanted to give you these two examples. They occur today, and so I really wanted to tell you that in whichever situation you're in, uh, whichever situation you're in, you need to know that these two situations that I described to you, yes, they are the point where you do need to do something about it and start investing and not going for just for free uh, stuff, which doesn't, it keeps you in, in place and also reinforces um, the old not that good habits. What Oscar also told me, because I asked him why today, he said, well, I tried before, I actually had some lessons in January, and then now I'm thinking that is a good time for me to actually, you know, get my act together and ask him why, is it because it's end of the year and you don't want to put French from uh, the New Year's uh, uh, resolution list of 2016 to the New Year's resolution of 2017. So are you doing that? So are you doing that? Just take a moment and think about it. How frustrating is how it's frustrating when we feel that we are not keeping the word for to ourselves. And it's pretty much uh, it's a lot of what actually plays in when we're not finishing what we're starting and we keep reinforcing that oh yeah well I didn't finish this I didn't finish that that's another thing I didn't finish and that doesn't actually motivate you to finish rather it gives you a good good reason not to finish it anyway so that's what I had for today for you uh, just to give you a little more insights coming from other people um, uh, so that you know that if you're st are still on the fence and you don't know what to do to get out of that I don't know what to do again like I said yesterday either take that priority that the other priority that you may have in your life and drop French and put it on 2018 2019 list or drop everything and don't give yourself any excuse anymore uh, and go for French um, for this year so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you and I appreciate the fact that you're looking to improve yourself and become bilingual which is a big thing not many people uh, go through that challenge and and finish it and um, I'm going to put the link to my Facebook group conversationalist uh, the Parisian French conversationalist Facebook group uh, in the comments below um, and so if you want to see uh, videos that I have with French instruction then you'll find them there merci beaucoup and don't ever give up on your dream to become bilingual learn Parisian French and break 
the language barrier. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt. Au revoir.